One of the best ways to start your one-on-one -on -one conversation with a team member is to ask them this question. So when you're getting ready to get into that one-on-one -on -one talk that you have with your team, being formally or informally, like after you got over the small talk where you probably got some information of where they are, their state of mind, and maybe some of the private things they've done, if you, if you talk about how do they spend the weekend or the week, or some of that, which is really important to create a connection, then once that is done and you got some information from there, which you're gonna store in your mind and know, you know what's important to them, you know, I'm gonna get to the question in a moment, but don't miss that. The small talk, if you ask the right kind of questions, like, you know, how did you spend your weekend and you have the person talking and you're not talking about your weekend, then you're gonna get insight into what matters to them outside of what they do at work, right? So after you move past that, then one of the questions that you should ask is say something like this. It seems like you have something in mind for today. Where do you want us to start? So what that question does, it, you don't assume you know what I want to discuss. You're not setting the agenda, but you're just opening up a, a conversation. It seems like you have a topic in mind or you have something in mind for today. Where do you want us to start? Or what would you want us to focus on today? It's one of the best questions I have found. So it gets them talking. And then the only thing you have to do is to just listen. And here is where the listening actually is the tricky part because most people think that listening it's a passive activity. Actually, active listening, it's one of the most active activities you can do. So, the way you show you listen, you ask great follow-up question. So, when someone says, you know, they wanna talk about performance, you mirror what they said, and then in that moment, they would explain to you what I meant by performance. And so what you're doing is actually you're pulling more information. You, they're opening up. They really tell you about perform. Or, or you say, what do you have in mind when you, when you think about perform? Or you ask, what makes you ask that question? So, so these are just really good follow-up questions for having someone to open up and, and, and you listen as, as a leader. If you do these things, you're going to be like in the top 10% of leaders. Most leaders never do this. They come with like the computer screen and then you sit across the table and they look in, your com in their computer, you look in yours, and that's not the one-on-one -on -one conversation. Most people don't do that. So that's a really great way to start your one-on-one -on -one conversations.